Our celestial neighbor, the moon, welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the mysteries of our closest celestial neighbor, the moon. From its formation billions of years ago to its potential for future human colonization, the moon has captivated humankind since we first gazed upon the night sky. Join me as we explore 10 incredible facts about the moon that will leave you in awe of this celestial wonder. A Titanic birth, the moon's explosive origin story. Picture this, Earth in its infancy, bombarded by cosmic debris. Out of the chaos, a Mars-sized object, which we call Theia, slams into our young planet. The energy released, unimaginable. Debris, flung into orbit from this cataclysmic collision, slowly coalesces, drawn together by gravity's invisible hand. Over eons, this swirling cloud of dust and rock transforms into the familiar sphere we see in the night sky, our moon. This is the leading theory for the moon's formation, the giant impact hypothesis. The moon's composition, its orbit, the tilt of Earth's axis, they all point towards this dramatic origin. It's not just a silent orb in the sky, it's a monument to one of the most dramatic events in our planet's history. Lunar Dimensions, a celestial heavyweight. We often think of the moon as small, a celestial companion dwarfed by our planet. But here's the thing, the moon is huge. In the cosmic ballet of our solar system, the moon is the fifth largest moon, a title that speaks to its impressive size. If Earth were a basketball, the moon would be a tennis ball, not exactly tiny. Its diameter stretches over 3,474 kilometers, about a quarter the size of Earth. Its gravitational pull governs the tides, a rhythmic dance of our oceans that has shaped life on Earth for millennia. So yes, the moon is smaller than Earth, but it's a celestial heavyweight in its own right. The long journey, a quarter million miles and counting. The moon, our seemingly close celestial companion is, on average, a staggering 384,400 kilometers away from Earth. That's like circling the Earth's equator nearly 10 times. If you could hop in a jumbo jet and cruise to the moon at a steady 965 kilometers per hour, it would take you roughly 16 days to get there. This distance allows the moon to have a profound impact on our planet, creating the tides and stabilizing Earth's axial tilt. So the next time you gaze up at the moon, remember the incredible journey its light takes to reach your eyes. A celestial dance, the moon's ever-changing face. Look up, the moon, a constant in our night sky, yet it never seems to look quite the same, does it? Sometimes it's a sliver, a celestial crescent, other times a full luminous disk. These are the moon's phases, a captivating transformation we witness as it orbits our planet. The key to this celestial dance lies in the interplay of sunlight, the moon's position, and our perspective from Earth. As the moon makes its monthly journey around our planet, different portions of its surface are illuminated by the sun, creating the phases we observe. It starts with the new moon, hidden from view as it's lost in the sun's glare. Then, as it moves along its orbit, a sliver of light emerges, the waxing crescent, growing night by night. The cycle continues, waxing to first quarter, then gibbous, until finally, it reaches its full glory, a brilliant full moon illuminating the night. The scarred landscape craters, Maria and Lunar Highlands. The moon's surface, a desolate yet captivating landscape, bears the scars of billions of years of cosmic bombardment. Unlike Earth, with its protective atmosphere and active geology, the moon wears its history on its sleeve, or rather, its craters. These craters, some stretching hundreds of kilometers across, are the result of asteroid and comet impacts a constant reminder of the celestial debris that litters our solar system. But the moon's surface isn't just a monotonous expanse of craters. Look closer and you'll discover vast dark plains called Maria, Latin for seas. These smoother regions are ancient lava flows, remnants of a time when the moon was volcanically active. Then there are the lunar highlands, lighter in color and heavily cratered, representing the moon's oldest, most heavily bombarded terrain. These contrasting features paint a picture of a dynamic and ever-evolving lunar surface shaped by both internal forces and external impacts. Imagine standing on the moon gazing out at this alien landscape. A lighter step, the moon's gentle grasp. We've all seen the iconic images of astronauts bounding across the lunar surface, seemingly lighter than feathers. 
This is the moon's gravity at work, a force about one-sixth that of Earth's. Imagine stepping on a scale on the moon. If you weigh 150 pounds on Earth, you tip the scales at a mere 25 pounds on the moon. This difference in gravity affects everything, from how objects fall to how high you can jump. But don't let this lighter touch fool you. The moon's gravity is still a powerful force, one that plays a crucial role in our planet's stability. It's a delicate balance, a cosmic dance between two celestial bodies, each influencing the other in profound ways. Imagine this, you're standing on the moon, a desolate yet breathtaking landscape stretching out before you. But there's a catch, you can't breathe. That's because the moon's atmosphere, what little there is of it, is incredibly thin, practically a vacuum compared to Earth's. This wisp of an atmosphere, called an exosphere, is so tenuous that it's about 100 trillion times less dense than Earth's atmosphere at sea level. It's made up of a smattering of elements like helium, argon, and neon, but it's far too thin to support life as we know it. This lack of a substantial atmosphere has some interesting consequences. There's no weather on the moon, no wind to sculpt the dunes, no rain to erode the craters, no clouds to obscure the starry sky. It also means that the moon's surface is exposed to the full brunt of solar radiation, leading to extreme temperature swings between day and night. One small step, a giant leap for humankind. The year is 1969. The world holds its breath as Neil Armstrong takes that momentous first step onto the lunar surface, uttering the immortal words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. This was the culmination of the Apollo program, a testament to human ingenuity, courage, and our insatiable thirst for exploration. But the Apollo missions were just the beginning of our lunar adventures. Over the decades, numerous robotic missions have followed in their footsteps, orbiting the moon, mapping its surface in unprecedented detail, and even landing on its surface to conduct scientific experiments. We've discovered water ice lurking in the shadows of polar craters, hinting at the possibility of future lunar outposts. The moon, once a distant and mysterious orb in the sky, has become a testing ground for new technologies and a stepping stone to further exploration of our solar system. A celestial dance, the moon's influence on Earth. The moon, our celestial dance partner, does more than just illuminate our night sky. Its gravitational pull, a subtle yet persistent force, plays a crucial role in shaping life on Earth as we know it. Think of the tides, that rhythmic ebb and flow of our oceans. This daily dance is orchestrated primarily by the moon's gravity, which tugs on Earth's water, creating bulges on the side closest to the moon and the side farthest away. These bulges, as the Earth rotates, create the high and low tides we experience. Its gravity also helps to stabilize Earth's axial tilt, the angle at which our planet spins on its axis. This tilt is what gives us our seasons, and without the Moon's stabilizing influence, Earth's tilt could vary wildly, leading to extreme climate swings. So while the Moon might seem like a silent observer in the night sky, its gravitational embrace is essential for life on Earth. Back to the Moon. A new era of lunar exploration. The Moon, once the ultimate destination for human exploration, is once again calling our name. With renewed interest from space agencies and private companies alike, we're on the cusp of a new era of lunar exploration, one that promises to be even more ambitious and transformative than the Apollo era. Imagine permanent lunar outposts, scientific research stations where astronauts can live and work for extended periods, studying the Moon's geology, its resources and its potential as a stepping stone to further exploration of our solar system. Picture telescopes on the far side of the Moon, shielded from Earth's radio interference, peering deeper into the cosmos than ever before, unlocking the secrets of the universe's origins. These are just a few of the possibilities that lie ahead as we venture back to the moon, not just as explorers, but as pioneers, builders and dreamers. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed learning about the moon, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more fascinating space facts. See you next time.